let us discuss significance of maxwell's equations one by one the first equation states that divergence of e bar is equal to rho v by epsilon not where rho v is the charge density charge enclosed by the volume per unit volume and uh, epsilon not is a constant which is which is called as permittivity of free space so this equation tells us the divergence of electric field is equal to the charge density inside a closed surface charge density inside a closed surface multiplied by a constant so this uh, uh, epsilon not 1 upon epsilon not is a constant now we have seen what is the meaning of divergence divergence tells us how much a given vector is spreading out from a given point so here you can see clearly if rho v is equal to 0 divergence of e bar will be equal to 0 and as the value of rho v increases that means as the charge density increases divergence will also increase that means more the charge inside the volume more will be the divergence so this is the significance of this first maxwell equation it indicates more is the charge density more will be the divergence of electric field second maxwell's equation states that divergence of b bar equal to zero what does it indicate it indicates that there are no magnetic monopoles all the magnetic charge that is found it is always found in a dipole which has a north pole and a south pole for magnetic lines of force there is no beginning and no end though we say the lines of force originate at north pole and end at the south pole but inside the magnet they are moving from south to north also so we cannot decide which is the beginning and which is the end there is no source for them like there is an electric field for an electric field we can have a electric monopole we can have a single charge and there will be a field of force around it but for magnetic field we will have to we must have a dipole monopole cannot exist so this is the significance of this maxwell's equation second equation the third maxwell equation is written as curl of e bar equal to minus del b bar by del t this equation says that curl of electric field is equal to negative of the change in magnetic field with time so if magnetic field is constant if b bar is constant then there will be no curl curl will be zero and as curl is zero the electric field lines will be straight and if the magnetic field is changing then accordingly the electric field will be swirl around rotate depending on whether the field is increasing or decreasing the changing magnetic field can induce an electric field and a negative sign is called as the lenz law so this uh, third equation tells us if the magnetic field is constant then the electric field lines will be straight and if the magnetic field changes then accordingly the there will be a rotation in the electric field the fourth maxwell equation gives curl of b bar to be equal to mu naught j bar plus del d bar by del t where j bar is the current density the total amount of current per unit area and this uh, del d bar by del t gives the displacement current So the curl of B or the swirlness of B depends on the current density and the displacement current. So this displacement current concept was uh, introduced by Maxwell while writing this uh, fourth equation and this displacement current concept is uh, very useful uh, when we deal with the capacitors. When we develop the theory of capacitors we will have to consider this displacement current. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video then please subscribe to the channel so that you will get timely intimation of new videos uploaded to the channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.